everyone. So I wanted to highlight how I do my makeup on a daily basis. And as you can see from some of the photos that I do, it turns out interesting. Um, I'm actually really picky about my makeup, but recently I started using a new product. It's called Unique. And the thing with Unique is that it's mineral based. So it goes on liquid and it finishes soft and powdery. Um, I'd say it's probably got the best coverage I've ever used and it doesn't feel sticky after I put it on. So start with a clean face. Um, I start with a primer. What this does is it's going to make it so that your foundation has something to adhere to besides your skin and it's also going to fill like any fine lines and wrinkles that you have so that your face will be smooth when you put your foundation on. So you just kind of apply. You put it all over your face. And you put it on your chin and underneath as well. Um, the reason behind that is because when you blend your foundation, you want to blend it so that you don't have a line. So when I do apply my makeup, I like to use Unique's foundation brush. It doesn't have to be a foundation brush from Unique, but I would recommend getting one a foundation brush. Um, the thing that's so special about this one is that it has a hole that you put the foundation into and it allows you to blend flawlessly. So first I'm going to start off with my concealer. This one's the Correcting Concealer. I have a smaller angled concealer brush and what I do is I put a little bit of the concealer on my finger and then I dab it like I would with my foundation and I apply it to the areas that I want hidden like dark circles I get red right here any blemishes like I get some right here And then I also do my forehead right here because I get some blemishes there. And then I follow with a line down my nose. And this, it really doesn't matter how you put it on. You don't have to blend it right away because it's going to get blended when you put your foundation on. So there you can see I have my concealer. And I do have a little bit of a blemish there, so I'm going to cover that. Now freckles and stuff, like I have freckles and some freckles here. You want your makeup to look as natural as possible, so I don't really conceal those. So next, after that, I'm going to shake my foundation. And what's nice about Unique is that it comes in a dropper form. So I literally just drop this onto my brush. If it don't drop. forehead and then down my nose and what you want to do is a circular motion this creates an airbrush effect so you want to do light strokes you don't really want to stretch your skin that's going to cause wrinkles. So you're just going to glide. I always get my eyelids as well. That's going to create a great foundation for when you do your eyeshadow and mascara and your eyeliner. So just light circles all around. As you notice, the concealer has blended in with my foundation. Yeah. 
And then you're going to blend your chin. And there I am with my basic foundation from Unique. Now, normally, what I'm waiting on in the mail is a lighter color concealer. Um, what this is going to do is I'm going to put it over my foundation, and it's going to highlight right in here and right in here. And it's going to create a lighter look underneath my eyes for all these awesome dark circles I get because I'm a mom. So I'm going to take the foundation angled brush and this is an ivory two from Mary Kay. It's a little bit lighter than my foundation. And basically you're going to apply it where you want highlights on your face. So I always apply under here. My chin. Your forehead is a natural white spot. Right on the ridge line of your nose. And then right at your jawline. Okay. Now you can see it's kind of like highlighted. It creates a little bit of a contour, but what it does is it gets rid of my dark wrinkles. Dark, dark circles, not wrinkles. So after that, I'm going to take a mineral powder. I'm actually going to use my flat brush. This is for powder foundation. Um, I use this to go over everything. It's just going to be light. Start with your chin. Do it in circular motions. This creates the airbrush effect. Blend your chin. Now what this does is it gets rid of all of the glossy look. So like when you put on foundation, it's gonna have like a shiny look to it. And this gives it a matte finish. It also makes it look more natural. After I do my powder, I will do my blush. So I have an angled blush brush. This is good for your cheeks and sculpting your cheeks. So I do just a little bit of a dab. Start at the ball of your cheek and work your way up. So right there. And then I always do a circular motion. This creates that airbrush effect again. Other thing this is going to do is create that highlight right here and it kind of makes your face look sculpted and pretty now I usually use like um, a Beverly Hills Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit and I do light here and I do a light here and then I do um, right along my ridge line um, today I'm not going to do that because I want it to be more natural and we've already done the concealer to do kind of like the under eye tones so that we get rid of the dark circles. So after I do all of my powder and everything on my face, this is before I put my eyeshadow on and everything, I spray with setting spray. And I let it dry. reason why I do it with my foundation is because it helps set it so that when I get to my eyeshadow, I'm not brushing up against it, I'm not doing that kind of stuff, and rubbing it off, or that type of thing. So, with your eyes, I always recommend an eyeshadow primer. Um, e.l.f. has one for like a dollar, Lorac has one, Unique has one. I haven't been able to test that one yet, um, but what you do is you just dab it lightly on your finger. So you squeeze, put a little bit on your finger, and then you're literally just going to rub it on your eyes and this primes your eyes the same way that foundation primer works and I usually put it underneath as well and 
And the reason why I put it underneath is because for this makeup technique, I'm gonna show you guys how to do some shading, like shadow under your eyes. Now, if you tend to mess up with your eyeshadow at any point, I suggest getting one of these. It's an angled sponge, as you can tell, I use mine a lot. But what it'll do is it'll erase. And one of the things that you don't want to do is stick your finger in your mouth and put it to your eye. That can actually cause an infection. So, now we're going to do the eyes. This is my Addiction palette. I believe it's number three. Um, it's the Mood Struck Shadow palette. Oh, Addiction number four, actually. So, for a more natural look, I usually use the brown side. I don't usually use the blues as much. Um, it can create your eyes to look tired, especially if you have like under circle eyes and everything like that. And it's more for an evening look. The browns are more for daytime, you know, natural, you know, enhancing of your eyes. Shadow brushes that I use. Um, the first one is, this one's going to be for my light color. It's, it kind of looks like a small powder brush in reality, but um, I always start with a light color and I coat my entire eye. Then I go to, so I used Tender. And now I'm gonna use the Arrogant, which is like a matte color. This one's a shine, this one's a matte. I apply this at the crease of my eye. And I literally just like tap. You don't even need to drag it down, you just kind of tap. That's the nice thing about Unique's eyeshadows. I've never had to actually fully load my brush. I literally just tap it and it's right there. We're just doing the crease. And this is a smudger brush so it kind of like smudges it but it also puts it in the crease. <clears throat> then I'm going to take an angled eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into the secretive color. And we're gonna go on the edge, right in the crease, but on the edge. This is gonna give it a little bit of a sparkle and a shine. And then if you really notice, I have like a line here. So what I do is I go back to my tender and I apply it only on the top, and I blend. Blend, blend, blend. That's the key. You don't want really big lines. And I just blend everything, and now it's kind of, it's a natural look. I call it my 1940s look. Um, a lot of women would have their makeup like this where it was really natural, but they would do some contouring so that it would accentuate their eyes. And then before I put my mascara on, I always do my eyeliner. This one's just a stick eyeliner, it's not liquid. Um, if you're going to do liquid, you need to let it dry, and then I always coat it with a little bit of the stick eyeliner. I, I don't usually use a lot of eyeliner that's liquid. Um, usually it's more for a pristine precision line. With this one, we're just going to do a little bit of a line on our eye so that it kind of makes it pop, but it's not like, bam, eyeliner. So, we're going to line our eye just on the tip of your eyelid. And then I end with mascara. This is the Epic Mascara from Unique. Um, they've actually been on back order recently and they re like they just got it in again, but this is the mascara that makes your eyes look 
look fake. You're gonna wiggle and up, wiggle and up. And if you ever stick your wand back in your mascara tube, don't pump it. Um, the reason behind that, so you just stick it in, pull it out. Um, you don't want to get bacteria in your mascara. That can also cause eye infections. The last thing I do is I put a nude color on. So this is what their nude color looks like. It's from e.l.f. It's not long, it's not a stain, so it won't be like long lasting, you can eat anything you want. But this does kind of finish that look. Um, and it makes my, my lips are kind of a pinkish color, so it enhances. enhances them a little bit and I have really small lips so sometimes I go with a brighter lip today we want more of a natural lip so you just trace the lines of your lips and there you go there's that natural look natural lips natural eyes Beautiful long lashes from Unique. My great foundation from Unique. Great concealer from Unique. Um, basically my entire look is Unique. And I'm slowly transitioning to their cosmetics. But I'm also telling you guys about some of these great steals, great buys that you can buy from other cosmetic companies that really give you a natural, beautiful look. Um, <clears throat> always remember the key to a good found, like a good look, is a good foundation, a good concealer. If you don't have that, nothing else is going to work for you. Um, that's why I suggest like spending a little bit of extra money on your foundation, on your concealer, on your primer. That's really what's going to set the stage for everything else. It's like when you build a house, you need a strong foundation. <sighs> if you use that concept when you do your makeup, it'll look flawless every time.